Hey guys, CJ here, PBX How To, starting a new series called Quick Tips. Yes, another new series. Uh, but this one's going to be uh, short and sweet and to the point on questions that you guys have, my subscribers, my loyal viewers have. Um, and that way I can answer them quickly without having to go through a full spiel on a setup. Okay, so anytime I have any tips, tricks, or you know, short stuff, I'll put it in this in this series. This one's going to be on Bridge Call Appearances. All right, and this is how Bridge Call Appearances work. You have two phones. Or many phones, whatever. We'll just say two phones. So I have fourteen ninety nine, which is my phone, and fourteen ninety eight, which is the guy who sits next to me's phone, right? And let's say he's away, and I want to not walk over to have to walk over to his desk and answer his phone. I can simply put his buttons on my phone, so I can answer him from my phone. Does that kind of make sense? I hope so. So let's move on. <laughs> uh, some options you want to set up to think about before you set this up. All right, bridge call alerting. This actually says your phone will ring if uh if that phone rings okay so i can have my phone ring if his phone rings based on if i have bridge call alerting turned on if not the button is just going to blink okay it's just your display is going to light up show you who's calling and who it's from on that guy's phone and your light is just going to blink if you have this set to yes now my phone's going to ring okay uh bridge idle line preference this is another one you want to take care of right here Okay, this one basically says when the when your phone is idle, this allows you to control whether you want to push the button or if you just want to answer the phone. Okay, so this is set to no, and if you set this to no, um, all you have to do is lift your handset on your tel on your phone to answer that call. So I set this to yes, to where I have to pick up my handset and push that button to answer his call. It's kind of a safe, you know, a safe point for you if you want to do that in case you don't want to answer any accidental calls that come to his phone. All right, so now we go down. Don't worry about bridged appearance origination restriction. Not important in this one. Uh, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to say BRDG button one extension 1498. Now what this says is I have a bridged appearance, bridged call appearance on my phone, on my button four of his button one on 1498's extension. Does that make sense? So when his first line rings, his first line not his second or his third, because I won't get those. His first button starts ringing of that call appearance. I'm my phone's going to start ringing. Okay. If I want to add his second one, I can do that by saying button two, extension fourteen ninety eight. But here you go. That's it. That's bridged call appearances. Pretty pretty simple, straightforward. It can get you into some trouble. So just do your research on how you want to do it, how you want to set it up, how many people you want bridged onto your phone. Um, but again, it's a nice way if you're in a team environment and you need to be able to answer someone else's desk or, you know, run around and answer their phones, you can't. Again, this is a quick tip on bridged appearances and how you set them up so you can be able to see what calls are coming in on another phone. Alrighty. Uh, thanks for watching. Keep your questions coming. If you have any comments on this one, leave them in this video and I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, like I said, keep your questions coming and I'll be happy to answer them on quick tips. Alrighty. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.